Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. This morning, of course, we're going to fix a smoothie, but i got a, a lot of stuff to share. One of the things is about the strawberries. They are, are the frozen strawberries, the Great Value brand from Walmart. They come in a four-pound uh, little plastic bag that's reseal resealable. But here's what I wanted to share. Can y'all see that? The uh, fresh strawberries at Walmart were $2.98 up for one pound. And the frozen strawberries were four pounds for $8.98. So if you compare that to the fresh strawberries, if you got four pounds, that would be $11.92. So that's a savings of $2.94. So I thought that was a good deal, really good deal. Yeah, and plus they're already washed and destemmed and ready to go. And of course they have no sugar on them. So anyway, uh, this morning I'm also using fresh carrots because I haven't made my carrot pulp yet. And the way I do that is to just peel the carrots, put them in the Vitamix along with a little water, and turn them into uh, carrot pulp and then freeze it. Now, anything that's not blanched or cooked that I put in the freezer, uh, I usually only count on it lasting no more than a month, really. Sometimes the bananas last for about six weeks, but the last time I put fruit fresh on the bananas, and it works great for two or three weeks, then they start turning. And I actually think that the fruit fresh probably actually burns them a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm talking about. Can y'all see that? That little brown on there? Anyway, I, I've been scraping it off, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in because it couldn't possibly hurt us. So, the other thing I wanted to share, these are the greens we use, and this container is fantastic for the uh, freezer. Because uh, some of the salads, they used to have uh, salad containers and those little minute holes in the top of them. These do not. And let me show you what I do with this. So hold on here. Yeah, so much bright sun this morning, it's hard to see the screen. Uh, what I do is just cut this little uh, side off here with the scissors where it's, see, because they've made it so you can open it like that and the top stays on but I don't want the top to stay on like that. So I just cut that off. Can y'all see? Yeah, let me see, yeah. All right, so I just cut that little uh, piece off. And then, there. Because I mean, plastic lasts 400 years, right? So, and, but you cannot put these in the dishwasher. You cannot get the tags off and I won't show you all of that what I do you want to make sure it's dry on the top and the bottom and I just run really hot water in here let it sit for you know about 30 seconds and then I've got this little razor blade thing and I just get it started on one end and then you just pull it off very very slowly you, you don't want to just rip it, because if you do, you, it'll sort of start coming apart. Am I on the video there? Yeah. All right, so you're just gently doing it. And of course, it works much better if you put some hot water in there and let it sit for just a minute. Same thing with the top, just because, I mean, I don't want to put it in my freezer with the tag still on it. So you just take the razor blade or a little knife and get it started and then you can pull it right off if you put hot water on one side of it. All right, so that's the containers I use a lot in my freezer and these are especially good for uh, when I store, store desserts like cake and all. I go ahead and cut it in slices and it works out great. Plus they stack really super well in the freezer. All right, so that's the strawberries I told you about, the container I told you about. And uh, we're also pretty much having double greens again. Uh, these are those baby greens or spring mix that were in the in that little box I just showed you. So that's a couple of handfuls. 
and I'm going to go ahead and use the frozen kale, four cubes of Valencia orange juice, and then these are dates that I uh, cooked for just a few minutes till they plumped way up, then ground them up in the Vitamix, and uh, then froze them in, in the ice cube trays. Now, here's the other thing I do. This is oatmeal and cream of wheat, and I started out with 10 cups of water, and uh, I used one and, a, and two thirds cups of cream of wheat, and two and a half cups of oatmeal, and I used the kind that cooks in two and a half minutes. Now this is still pretty warm. I did it first thing this morning, so I'm going to take a couple of big spoonfuls out and put them in the Vitamix along with the frozen fruit and kale, and uh, then the rest of it I'm going to put in ice trays and freeze. So these ice trays are just the uh, ice trays from Walmart. I think they're rubber made, and each ice tray holds two cups, I think. Yeah, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah, 16 uh, of these. Uh, I think that holds um, two cups. So I'm gonna freeze that, and then I'll, uh, after it's frozen, I put them uh, in one of those gallon bags in the freezer, and that way I just take out what I'm gonna use. So, but this morning, since I ran out of both carrot pulp and uh, the cream of wheat and oatmeal, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my, can y'all see that? Yeah, I know the sun is so super bright today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in right on top of the greens. Yeah, so we've had cool weather for two days now, and uh, the night before last it got down to uh, 40 degrees, and last night it got down to 46 degrees, so we've been sleeping in heaven, really, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna put the uh, cream of wheat and oatmeal in. Just gonna blob it in there right on top of that frozen stuff. So that'd be probably equivalent to about three, maybe four cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my carrots in. And by the way, I finished upholstering the stool and we'll show you that in just a minute. All right, I wanna, of course, get the, uh, peanut butter in. I'm not going to use too much this morning. Oh, got to have a paper towel. Or half a paper towel get that spoon cleaned off. Yeah, that's the only drawback with the peanut butter. It gets all over the spoon and it gets on the side of the Vitamix unless you put it kind of right in the middle of something. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the bananas in. I really have trouble knowing they got that. It's a scalding, really, is what it is. So from now on, my bananas get frozen in the peeling because they keep much longer that way. Now this morning, I'm not sure, but we might need some sugar. So, because I'm not sure, uh, so we'll just get the sugar out just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and use right out a cup of water. Just go ahead and dump that in. And after we get this mixed up, uh, I want to uh, take you in the, and show you in the den where I've got the ottoman recovered. All right, here we go. The main star of this little performance would be the strawberries. And by the way, on the strawberries, I definitely like these little smaller strawberries much better than those great big ones. So anyway, I've actually looked on the pack to see where these uh, strawberries were grown. 
and all it told me was it was distributed by Walmart in Arkansas. But I've never seen this big pack in Walmart before, and I'm so hoping they're grown in this country and not Mexico. But uh, anyway, I'm not sure. So, but anyway, here we go. see that I got a little fruit fly. I just killed him. All right, so we've got some, let's see, we've got right at 60 ounces this morning. All right, I'm going to uh, try this and make sure it's sweet enough. Mm. And it's not. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of sugar in this morning. And that would be mainly because of the strawberries. Because even when I use blueberries, it's usually sweet enough. All right, here we go again. All right, that ought to do it. Let me get a, another spoon and a taste of it real quick again. That's got it. Definitely tastes like strawberries. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the glasses. Where are my glasses? Here they are. Yeah, I got fruit fly. I have to change my dish rag now, but I got him. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I got some over this morning, which I'm gonna put in the uh, refrigerator and uh, when Mr. Bucky comes in from his yard work, I think he's going to be mowing today, uh, he can drink the rest of it. Yeah, yeah we have definitely found the more greens you use, the more energy you have. And he's having to do more mowing because we got more rain last week, a lot more. So, all right, so that goes in the, in the refrigerator. I'm just going to leave it right in the Vitamix container. All right, here we go. Give this a big taste now. There's what it looks like, double greens. It's very good, but I definitely had to add the sugar. Yeah, strawberries, you just, you're going to have to add the sugar because they are really sour. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, I'm going to take you all into the den and show you the little ottoman I recovered. Hold on. All right, there's the uh, ottoman that I recovered. Now, the ottoman I got at uh, Target, I actually ordered it online and got free shipping. And so I recovered it using the same material. Now, I didn't go to a lot of trouble doing it, but uh, anyway, it matches the chair. So I'm happy, and I like the round ottoman better because when you're sitting in the chair, you can kind of put your feet over on this side and get up without having to scoot out the ottoman. All right, so there it is. We will see you all next time. Let me come back and get a good picture of that. Oh, and that recliner, I'm going to be working on that recliner. Mr. Bucky will not let us throw it away, which is what I want to do. But anyway, all right, so there it is. All right, see you all next time.